point lick number 18, the chromatic idea. Here we're still working with the tune off for of business, but it's take two, baby. And here he goes. <laughs> So let's go over this one. Uh, he's taking it from here, this Albert King type idea. You've seen it before, right? Fourth bent to fifth. Twice. Then you hit it again. Fourth minor third root root. So there's no pull-offs there on that one. You're just picking it off. Now there's the pull-off. It's the little flat seven blip I mentioned before in other videos. We could just end it there. That would be cool, but... He pulls it off at the last second. Flat seven to root over here. Flat seven to root twice, then you go down. Flat seven, fifth, fourth, minor third, root. Back up to the minor third. Now you do fourth side in the fifth. And then you hit the fifth. See, fourth side in the fifth, and then you hit it. So you get like two fifths out of it. See that? Now you go. What? what that's. It's interesting because the phrasing is now similar. We go flat seven root root, then you go minor third root root. So it's great phrasing there, right? He goes. That sets up that, that quick. Now he goes, I don't know if he just hits that once. Doesn't he, let me see, did I write that down? There's two, there's two. Okay, so there's two, but he hangs on it. You know, you got this. You hang on that minor third you bend it quarter step which sets up again you're you're hanging on this and then you do now a little flurry of notes going down which is our chromatic idea right oh wait we don't go all the way down to the minor third like in the other example we just go down to the fourth this one only goes down to the fourth. And then you go right to the flat seven, which is on the next string over. And we get two roots. So here we go. We go. So it's flat seven root, flat seven fifth, flat five, four. There's our chromatic idea. Flat seven to root to two roots. Here it is. Here it is. We'll go. With... Should we take it from the top? Yeah, let's take it from the top. You ready? I'll do it a little slower. Okay, so see how that phrase is? So we're 
descending with two roots again, right? We're going two right there, and then... Well, that one I hammered it, but I think he picks both of them. It's all picked. How cool is that, right? Now we do our, our common minor third and fifth double stop with a little little tweak, a little quarter step bend, I guess. And we do root, pull off to the flat seven, and we end on the fifth because that's right on the five chord. And then you arpeggiate something like that, right? You go you strum. Now there, on this tune, I've talked about you don't play this guy up here. You just play this. You're playing the. I've been calling it the power seven chord, right? Just the bottom four strings. You got the fifth, the root on the next string over so this this guy's flat and he's hitting on in this case the eighth fret so you got the fifth and the root then you got the major third here and then the flat seven on the g string eighth fret right that's it just the bottom four the lowest four strings but at the end of this lick, we do our traditional. We do that little triangle. Right? Root, major third, flat seven, and root up here with this guy. It's eight, seven, eight, six. And you've seen that before. The two E strings are not. They're dead. Okay? That's how it ends on that chord. So you're coming off of this. And then I just play your traditional simple major bar chord, but only play the bottom four. Or even just the bottom three, like like ACDC, you know. This <laughs> is the power chord, but I think he throws that major third in there. But uh, okay, so anyway, matter of fact, I didn't the ACDC played a lot of the open chords, didn't they? So anyway, all right, I just meant a power chord. ACDC comes to mind. But okay, so again, um, let's take it from the top. We're going. There you go. There's another one, right? Okay, let's move on. 